Hi there, product people. This is Adriana here to walk you through Product School's Design Sprint template. A design sprint is an intense brainstorming session that leads you to prototyping and user testing as quickly as possible. To access our template, just click this button here, and you'll see that our template runs over, over a four-day sprint. Day one is defining the challenge and producing solutions. Day two is voting on solutions and storyboarding. Day three is prototyping and day four is user testing. But before you get to any of that, you are going to build out your design sprint team. So there is the facilitator of the design sprint. That's usually you, product manager, the decider, someone who has decision power over the product or feature, and then a stakeholder from the, the major teams involved. So design, engineering, and marketing are the usual, usual suspects. And now that you have your team, you're ready to get started. So again, day one, super, super intense brainstorming. We have a range of activities to get started. The first one is how might we note-taking? You are going to ask your team a, a series of questions about your product. So what is it? What does it do? Who does it serve? What problem is it solving? And based off of the answers to those questions, you are going to take these notes. Then you're going to compile the group's notes and vote on them. Next activity, similar process, but with long-term goals. You're going to define the long-term goals of your product or feature. And again, similar process, but for sprint questions. So come up with potential solutions to the challenge as you've defined it so far. And this will bring you to this slide. Your long-term goal, your ultimate sprint question, and two sub-sprint questions. And this slide is kind of the crux of your design sprint. You're going to come back to it over and over again to keep these really big questions front and center. And we're not done with day one. We thought we were, but we still have some more brainstorming to do. You're going to do this quick activity, which is a simple map of user touch points. Then you are going to do a lightning demo, so individual research into existing solutions out there, really great inspiration for solutions. And then you're going to end with a four-step sketch. And at the end of the four-step sketch, you're going to have a solution sketch. Each team, team member will have a sketch. And these will serve as the seeds for the final solutions that, that you'll talk about on day two when you decide what to prototype. Day two. So again, you're going to start with these solution sketch. They're going to look something like this. And all of the team members are going to vote on the solution sketches with dots. And you'll end up with something that looks like a heat map. And after this process, you will actually vote on the final, final solution and decide what you're going to build. And once you have this defined, each team member will write out the user flow steps. You will compile the user flow steps of each team member and then you will vote. So the best user flow is the one that you're going to go with. And you will use this to actually create your storyboard. So you're going to draw out your storyboard. And this storyboard will serve as your model for the prototype. And yeah, day three, prototyping. There isn't so much in the template on this because prototyping is going to vary so much depending on the solution that you've come up with and on your team. And then day four is user testing. So you're going to, in four days, actually serve a prototype to users and, and see how they react. And you're going to fill out their feedback in this table. And then finally, you're going to end the sprint with a retrospective, get some key takeaways and see what you can do even better for the next time around. And that's it. I know I went through these super quickly. In the template, don't worry, there's a really in-depth explanation for all of these exercises. And if you still have more questions, you can head over to our community, ask them there, or to the Product School website and YouTube channel where we have more resources on this. Thank you.